believe it or not, but this guy used to look like this. I drew that a long time ago, but it's obviously not good. Drawing is not easy, but just like any skill, it can be learned and mastered. How you doing mates? This video is a time lapse of me learning to draw digitally while also drawing the first character of my fighting game. I think this is a good opportunity for me to tell you a bit more about my game. Things like the story, what the gameplay is actually like and obviously who this guy is. Also stick around to the end of the video for a very, very nice, nice surprise. Let's start by talking about the hero of the story. Aaron Phoenix. Aaron Phoenix is a hero with fire powers, more specifically pyrokinesis, which according to Wikipedia is the purported, purported? Psychic ability allowing a person to create and control fire with the mind. But obviously he's not gonna use his mind, that wouldn't be fun. Also this is a fighting game. In this game every fighter is either going to have a power or a weapon. Sometimes they might have both. Okay Anderson, he has fire powers, but how does he fight? Well, his fighting style is kickboxing, mainly revolving around kicks and knee attacks. His archetype will be the all-rounder, or balanced, or a shoto. Since he's the main character, I want to make him approachable to newer players, but I also want to give him specific mechanics that will make him hard to master. That way, players that decide to play with him forever can always be learning something new. That's what makes fighting games fun, am I right? A little bit about Aaron Phoenix's story, he got his fire powers and fighting style from his mother, who supposedly is much stronger than he is. In the beginning of the video, I showed you the finished drawing of this character, and you saw that he had this waist cloth. He also got that waist cloth from his mother, and this has a special meaning to him. That's what makes him feel like a hero. Now you're probably wondering, why didn't I give him a cape? Well, everyone has one of those, right? right? Also, this looks and feels different. Anyway, he also lives with this guy who is much taller and has bigger muscles than he does. <laughs> Spoilers. This guy is like a brother from another mother to Aaron. He also has powers and they both strive to become stronger every day. Throughout the story, they try their best to protect everyone. That's why they're heroes after all. In the game's story, they have a goal and they get to meet a couple of like-minded individuals who share the same passion as them and they help each other out in achieving said goal, as well as stopping those who stand in their way. One thing I want for the quote-unquote villains of the story is that they shouldn't have generic goals like I want to destroy the world or I want to kill you because I hate you. <laughs> I want them to have goals with good reasoning behind them. Maybe they might have goals that make you think, is he really the bad guy in all of this? Even the people who help Aaron in his adventure I don't want them to help him because they like him or they like what he's doing, no. They're going to have their own goals as well. Joining this adventure will just get them closer to their goals. So yeah, I know most of what I just told you about the story is very abstract, but many things are still just ideas. And until I have things set in stone, that's what you'll be knowing for now. Okay Anderson, enough about the story, what about the gameplay? I'm glad you asked. I said many times before that I'm making a platform fighter. But something you might not know is that in this game, you don't throw people off screen to win. You have to deplete your opponent's self bar like a normal fighting game. But Anderson, that's not a platform fight. Yes it is! A platform fighter is just a fighting game with platforms. You don't have to throw people off cliffs to win. Two other important things that I want for this game are mastery of the powers and or weapons and emphasis on teamwork and combos. Don't forget about the combos. But well, let's talk about the first two, mastery of powers and or weapons. In this video, I told you that every fighter will have a power and or weapon. But this isn't just so they can have cool looking attacks, but also because their powers and weapons can be used in creative ways. For example, a normal attack can get enhanced after you land a special attack. Or your character can become more powerful the more he blocks certain attacks, like projectiles for example. I have more ideas, but obviously I can't share the best ones. <laughs> and so, this unique way of using each character based on their power and or weapon will allow you to get creative and might even change your game plan throughout your battles. The other important part of this game is the emphasis on teamwork. I want players to be able to synergize their offense by finding ways to combo their attacks, open up opponent's defense, etc. Take a look at Tekken Tag 2. I didn't play this game when it was popular. 
I uh, kind of wish I did though. But in this game, you get to choose up to two characters for your team and you can switch between these characters in the middle of the fight. And a cool way to switch these characters is through unique grab attacks, where you grab your opponent and immediately switch characters, making them do these cool and unique combo grabs. Watching these combo grabs gets my brain sparking with ideas for teamwork in my game. I'll put a link in the description of a video compilation of these combo grabs, so you can watch it for yourself. I'm almost done drawing this guy. Right now I just need to do some finishing touches and start coloring him. So let me tell you a bit more about my story with drawings, and how I'm able to draw this guy, Aaron Phoenix. In this video, I showed you this picture of Aaron Phoenix's initial sketch, which was on a physical book. I have more drawings like this, some are good and some are, uh, yeah. I always loved drawing, and I used to draw a lot when I was younger, and I always drew these cool characters. But when I started programming back in 2016, I stopped drawing completely. The only thing I drew was the sketch that I showed you earlier, of Aaron Phoenix. And I only knew how to draw on paper, but now I'm drawing digitally, and it feels like I'm learning to draw all over again. I had been collecting pictures of cool character concepts and that's how I'm able to draw this guy right now, Aaron Phoenix. I also watched a lot of tutorials online that teach you specific techniques on drawing. One of my favorite channels is this one called Draw Like a Sir, where he teaches you how to draw like a sir. Initially I was a bit meh when I chose these colors to, you know, color him. But then when I saw the finished product I was like, you know what, this actually does look pretty great. I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. I think it looks amazing. And would you look at that, I'm done! The drawing isn't perfect, but since I just need this drawing for modeling the character, it shouldn't be a problem. And if you're watching this video until now, you have to subscribe! I mean, you obviously love the content, or maybe <laughs> you just love me. Before you go, I did say I have a surprise for you. This time, it's not your usual choco milk, but instead, it's my own Discord server. So if you're a memer, a gamer, or a game developer, feel free to join, because I'm all of that, and in the server, we'll talk about all of that. And my game, of course. Anyway, I'll see you next time. And as always, stay awesome. Aaron Phoenix.